When I was injured, it's something that I had to get over with on my own. It taught me patience, it taught me to be grateful, and it taught me to really not be afraid. When I was injured, I was sitting in the studio watching class. I was always so scared. I was afraid to fall or whatever. I'm so upset about the fact that I didn't take those chances. It was a huge process. One, a two. Be careful the fingers, the hands, beautiful hands, and lift, lift, more, more, more. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep, 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 keep. Ah, now you are working. Oh, mon Dieu, bravo. That's good work. Now you are working, right? Between what we think we do and what we really do, sometimes there is a huge gap. Left and Jump! Powerful jumps! That what was that? It's so hard to be a dancer. There's no day without pain. Some people have to stop because of an injury. That's bad luck, but that's how life is. Yes, Rodolfo, that was much better. They're afraid it's going to happen again, and you have to work very closely with them psychologically to overcome that fear. Yeah, you're afraid. Your muscle memory is not there. Okay, yeah, but Carlos, be careful. And your body tells your mind, be careful, something has happened. I've been injury free all year long and that's, that was really my goal for this year. I've become so much more stronger and, and I'm really grateful for that. In fact, I think my injury was the best thing that could happen to me as a dancer because had it not been like that, I would not know where I would be now. We left everything in Cuba. It was leaving our country, our house, leaving our people, leaving our language. You start from zero. My dad was a journalist back in Cuba. My mother, she was actually in charge of a networking system of different hotels in Havana. Then we moved to this country and they couldn't find a job doing what they used to do. My parents had a hard time as well as me. And seeing your parents go through that transition is kind of sad, but um, my family is definitely involved. They were always there for me from my injury. They were always talking to me or being supportive. Hoy tienes mucho, muchas cosas en Bali. No sabes. No sabes. Hasta tarde. Uh -huh. De los Bali de marzo. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué importancia tiene eso para ti? Muy importante. Creo que es lo más importante que has hecho hasta ahora. Uh -huh. Todos vamos a estar. La familia entera. Being on stage, I want to look my best. I have to be very technical, but artistic at the same time. I guess that makes you nervous. At the end of the day, we're always seeking for that complete control over our bodies so, so we can really be ourselves out there on stage or in an audition. Jumping is the one thing I love the most. And imagine not being able to jump for the past six months. It taught me how much I have to appreciate what I do. I landed from a jump in an unusual way. I twisted my ankle a little bit, but it was fine. I kept on dancing through the week, and right at the end of the week, uh, I was jumping in class, and the same thing happened, but in a much worse way. Carlos has an amazing natural jump, and we work on all the technical aspects to support that so that he One, doesn't injure and himself. Yeah, and pa, yeah. The arms are a little bit too low, but let's, let's try again, let's try again. De, et. Ah, still, huh? again, try again, try again. You're afraid. I know. You're totally afraid. Your body tells your mind, just don't push it. Whenever you feel the slightest pain whatsoever, seek out for help. Both engines have to push with the same amount of thrust. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Keep a little bit, ah, more to the front. Let's, let's try now, and. If they do the same combination that caused the injury, they're just naturally afraid. Sometimes for a dancer, that hesitation 
uh, is the worst thing for them because it can actually cause another injury to happen. You think you're always strong, you think you're, you're good enough to uh, injure myself, and then it makes you realize, wow, I, I was really not so strong as I thought I was. I didn't just get injured because I tripped, my body was weak. So when it came to recovery time, the one thing I always worked on was strengthening all my body. Because I knew that in the future, once I fully came back, that would protect me from further injuries. It's forward. Hold it. Hold. Hold. Most of us, we get injured. You work so hard, you know that if you take two days off, it's already a long time to be off. And then if you take a month off, when you start dancing again, everything looks new. It's like your body doesn't feel cool anymore. I found out you put your entire food in a bucket with ice, and that really, really helps. And that's what I do every day. So cool. After the five minutes, you feel so good Not that you really. don't want to take it out. <laughs> no. You just get used to it. Just like, no, just really. First time I did it, and I was like, no, I'm not going to do it again. When I got injured, I was like, I was doing like ice every single day, like more than once. Mm -hmm. Ice. And hot, then, ice, yeah, hot. ice and hot, ice and hot. And then I got like 100% better because it mm -hmm. really helps. Hola, Carlos. We are going to work on the etudes. Mm -hmm. I would like you to take it today, not so hard. Okay. because it's one of the hardest male variations. Oh. Should we go through the choreography? Sure. Okay, yeah. so you run in, run, two, three, four. Now you gotta do a huge jump in split, okay? Right. And you're gonna do it to the left? I'll do it to the left, yeah. Yeah. About well, four months after my injury, when I started really recovering, I was just so happy and so excited to jump to be able to do that again after like months. And I gained much more confidence. Different people came to my rescue, my teachers, and that's what slowly but surely brought me back up. Sometimes, you know, you, you think in class, you work in class, but when you are on stage, you have to let go. Right. You have to go more than 100% every day because this is over much too soon. Latest, when you're 40, is over. So you have to take every day like it would be the last day. Your injury, you were almost recovered. You were not confident for who you were as a dancer. No. You were lost. And in class, you got better and better. And, and you did last week a wonderful performance. But. Carlos, now you're having three very difficult performances, extremely difficult. What a principal dancer in a big company normally does, a lot of jumps, so you're gonna be very good. Uh, I hope so. Yeah. yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> we work on it every day. Mm -hmm. So now you give it in a month. <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> My parents had a hard time getting used to living in this country. It was a different standards, different rules. My dad was a journalist back in Cuba. Now, my dad, he works at a pest management company. In one way or another, I'm their hope. I want to make them proud. Como lo estás logrando, llegar al punto de ser un gran bailarín, ese día, ese día va a ser uno de los días más felices de mi vida porque tú vas a llegar a donde yo no he podido llegar. Todo lo que tú estás haciendo, todo lo que tú haces, eh, todos los días quemando etapas, pero teniendo muy buenos resultados. Yo estoy orgulloso de que tú seas mi hijo. Pro, I am pro to be your father. Man. I'm proud to be your son. <laughs> oh, man. Eh, eh, eh. through my injury was life-changing, where I became a bigger person and really grew more mature about my career, about myself. I don't know what's gonna happen about my future, but I try to focus on one thing and I go from there. 